Planet Dolan. From falling into giant canyons to wild wolf attacks, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about bad incidents we've narrowly avoided. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Ishbam. When Pringle was five, he and his family were in Arizona, visiting a crater. It was huge, and there was no railing to prevent anyone from falling in. They took a tour, and when it had finished, they were heading back to the gift shop when Pringle decided to start running. His mom started running after him, trying to catch him, when he slipped and almost fell over a hundred feet to his death. Luckily, his mom caught him just in time. The tour guide watched the whole thing, almost having a heart attack. If it weren't for his mom's quick thinking, he wouldn't be here today. Number 9 was submitted by Patchwork0013. One time when Ladybot was young, she came very close to death. She thought it would be a great idea to jump off the roof of her house and onto a trampoline. For a few short seconds, she thought she was actually flying. But then, she very quickly fell over her neighbor's fence and landed in their backyard with a broken leg. Ouch. Number 8 was submitted by Jessica Jimerson. When Emoji was about 9 years old, his mother decided that because it was a rainy day, it would be a fantastic time for reading spooky stories. She took Emoji to the local library to grab a few good books. He was so excited when they got there that he jumped out of the car, but suddenly, he realized the ground around him was getting brighter. He looked up only to see a zigzag beam of lightning shooting down towards him. Without thinking, he leapt back into the car, and as if in slow motion, he saw the lightning touch the ground where he was standing one second before. A very lucky escape. Number seven was submitted by Tom Oriyama. Slapped Ham's family thought he must have had a guardian angel watching over him, but in truth, that guardian angel was his dad. When he was about six years old, Slapped Ham was at the park. He was chasing the birds because he believed that all birds belong in the sky. So when he saw geese for the first time, he immediately demanded that they fly as well. They didn't fly, of course. And just as an angry goose lunged at his tail, his dad scooped him up and saved him. It was a close call. Number six was submitted by the Goatman YT. Once, when Dolan's parents were out of town, he and his mysterious brother were wrestling on their parents' roof, which seemed like a great idea at the time. In a moment of fury, Dolan's brother threw Dolan straight over the edge onto a plastic table below. If it weren't for the table being there, he would have landed face first into concrete. What a Christmas holiday that was. Number five was submitted by Misaki Mei. In fifth grade, Pandora was taking a math test on the school computer while chewing gum. About halfway through the test, she suddenly started choking. For what felt like ages, no one in her class helped her. They just stared in disbelief. Meanwhile, she was so scared and trying desperately to get the gum out. She drooled all over the keyboard and was able to save herself just before she ran out of oxygen. It was a close call, and she even managed to pass the test. Number four was submitted by AJ Love Gamer. One time, Nixium was sitting down watching TV when his dog walked over and sat in front of the TV, staring at him. It got creepy real quickly, so he told him to stop, but the dog just kept staring, so he tried to scare him off. But that just made him mad, and suddenly, he bit down so hard on Nixium's big toe, he could feel his fangs touching the bone. Nixium screamed and the dog stopped. He had to have stitches in his foot for a whole month, and Nixium's father spanked the dog for being so aggressive. Number three was submitted by Metal Dragon Slayer. One time, Hellbent was at a theme park and decided he would ride the biggest roller coaster he could find. Halfway through the ride, the most terrifying thing happened. His safety belt broke off. He held on for his dear life, and the ride attendant just thought he was screaming like everyone else. The ride finally ended, and somehow he survived. Needless to say, he needed a new pair of pants after that. Number two was submitted by I'm Mini Crafter. When they were teenagers, Sweet Commando and M. Kyle M. were out turkey hunting in the countryside. They had just made a new trail recently and decided to walk along it. As they were walking, Sweet Commando whispered, Don't move, just listen for the turkey. That's when M. Kyle heard the soft padding of feet. He turned around to see a huge ass wolf about to jump on him, and that's when Sweet Commando shot at a turkey in a nearby tree, scaring the shit out of the wolf. At that moment, Sweet Commando turned around and saw it, and they both yelled, Fuck! No! Then, both ran in the opposite direction, 
and never returned. For number one, I'm going to tell you guys about something that happened to me when I was a kid. When I was about five or six, I was taking swimming lessons with my family. And being the confident person that I am, thought after mastering the doggy paddle, I could go into the deep end. All I could really do is flail around and jump whenever I felt the ground, and I inhaled a bunch of water, and I couldn't really breathe very well. None of my family members were really paying attention. They were all kind of doing their own thing. But eventually, my cousin noticed that I was drowning, and he came over and grabbed me by the wing. And thank goodness, I was saved. But admittedly, I haven't really been a good swimmer since. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's something weird you've been caught doing? Let us know on the Reddit page link below, and you may be featured in a future countdown. Catch you guys next time. You know, he had just gotten out of the shower and was still getting changed. He stood there completely naked in front of the four-year-old. She screamed and ran back to her room. She was super embarrassed, but thankfully they can now laugh at how awkward it was.